Good morning. We're starting off our day with showers again. We're looking at some issues with light rain all morning long in the Southern Valley, especially some of us up north may get some sprinkles or light rain too, but this will mainly be a Southern Valley event. So grab that umbrella, grab that jacket to protect you from the light rain. It's not going to be heavy in most areas, but enough to be a nuisance enough that if you're out in it long enough, your hair is going to get wet too. Here's a look at the radar right now. You can see there's a lot of green on the map, but it's light green to perhaps just a, a little bit of a light shower in some spots. It depends on where you are. Northern Valley, it's quieter for you. Down in the Southern Valley, that's where we're looking at more of those showers affecting us. So again, a little bit of rain here affecting us for today. Again, and it's not heavy. We're not seeing those deep greens or yellows, at least not here in the valley. You can see down to the south and west, it's kind of hiding behind our 11 symbol there at the bottom of your screen. There's some yellow and green there uh, on the map. Expanding the view, you can see that there's a wide area of showers affecting the tri-state area, and it's mainly South Dakota and over into Minnesota, but we do have some of this affecting us in North Dakota here this morning. So here's a look at our temperatures. Most of us are into the 40s this morning, which is a big difference from yesterday. Yesterday we were in the teens and 20s, so it was a really chilly start. Today we're warmer, but with it comes the clouds and that chance for some rain too. Up in the Northern Valley along the border there, you can see temperatures are in the 30s for you. That is where we have uh, some clearer skies, some partly cloudy skies. So your temperatures have dropped a little bit more there. Winds are fairly light. We do have more wind starting to turn northerly out to the west. That's where we're seeing wind speeds into the low teens here this morning. Uh, but other than that, it's pretty quiet at the moment. We'll see more northerly wind developing through the day. Visibility looking good for just about everybody except for the uh, parts of the Cheyenne River Valley, Valley City at eight miles, down in Gwinter at five and four in Oak. So there's some places where the rain is bringing down your visibility a bit and there may be some uh, some fog, some mist out there too, uh, just kind of generally bringing down that visibility a little But It's, it's not dense fog or anything like that right now. Okay, so a look at our hour by hour planner. We're going to be really just experiencing this rain in the southern half of the valley, I would say. Can't rule out a few showers up in the north too, but the main area of rain and scattered showers will be in the south. Now you may not be seeing this all day long, but the potential is certainly there throughout the day to be dealing with this. This is 9 a.m. You can see some of those showers rolling through by noon. Southern Valley, again, it, the focus will be far south. We're looking at some showers there. And I mentioned Northern Valley can't rule out a, a passing shower or sprinkle. You could see that up in the Northern Valley around 5 o'clock this evening. Temperatures are going to range from some 40s to some 50s. It's not going to be the warmest day in the world, uh, that's for sure. Uh, and as we head into the nighttime hours tonight, we're still dealing with some of these showers, but gradually they do move on. And tomorrow morning, we'll start off the day on a quieter note. It will still be cloudy in the southeast, but gradually we will see that cloud cover uh, give way to more sunshine. It will be a little more breezy though. We'll see wind out of the north gusting into the 20s to some low 30s for your wind speeds to start off Thursday morning. So not the most pleasant start to the day tomorrow either. We're trading in the cold mornings for unsettled and kind of gloomy morning today and then tomorrow breezy. However, once we get into the afternoon, you can see most areas enjoying some sun, either mostly sunny or partly cloudy, and the wind starts to ease up as well. And that starts to set us up for a really nice end to our work week this week. So we're looking at some great weather ahead. Some clearing skies and some sunshine ahead of us for Friday and temperatures that are going to be into the 60s. And then heading into Saturday, you can see we've got a chance for some showers on Saturday, but warmer. And then for Mother's Day, mid 60s and mostly sunny skies. Great day for mom. And next week, it just keeps getting better from there. We're looking at some low 70s potentially to start next week. So we're on our way up after today, but it is going to be a little gloomy, a little cool out there today. Thank you, Lisa. Some bugs are already out. But how prepared are you for mosquito season? Coming up, we fly out to the valley today. Zabby Kirchner, who has some advice on how to beat the bite.